but for sure. 2018-19 Revolution Basketball. Chinese New Year, eight bucks break, number 14 right now. Uh, When does the movie come out? <laughs> I wish, man. I think I would make a good Thanos. Just paint me purple. Hit the gym for like a good solid three months. You know, get on that keto diet. You know, you know, be looking like Thanos in no time. When does that? When does the? When does Endgame come out? I think April, right? So this is the last eBay break. Once this is done, we're going to go uh, head over to the store see what we got going on. Later, Jimbo. Have a good one, man. Thank you for uh, hanging out. Ah, Brian, worst case scenario, you can just sleep with Jason. I'm sure he'll be totally fine with that. base card all right let's look for that box <laughs> Brian well I, I, I read that you said you're looking for a room for the national so I was like well worst case scenario you could just sleep with Jason I figured that was like a typo. So, never mind.
they have here. I do not, I mean, I'm not Australian. I speak American, dang it. I can't understand you. Go back to your country. <laughs> ah, if you can tell me where that's from, I will give you Uncle Jesse brownie points, which you can then redeem at the National for a brownie. Cal Lowry Raptors Emerald. That's the 88. Trey Young base card for the Hawks. That's not bad. Abraham, as a matter of fact, is Japanese. And he is quite illegal in this country. He has no green card, no visa, none of that business. Greg. I forgot. Greg is also Australian. We got two Aussies in the house. Hey, Greg, you ever been attacked by a koala? A.K.A. a drop bear? Or a ding, yeah, or a dingo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've always wondered this: is shrimp on the Barbie like, 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 like the actual like the the shrimp, the animal, the shrimp on a barbecue, or is that code for something? I've always wondered that. Lonzo Ball, Emerald, to 88. There you go, Tony Jones. Uh, it's, it looks like Google finally came through for you. <laughs> I miss that show so much. That show could, like, could not come out nowadays. People are way too sensitive. A Luca New Year. Very nice. Well, Tony, like I said, you will get your brownie, but you got to go to the National. You got to go to the National. I very clearly stated you will get brownie points, which you can then redeem at the National. The Wayne Brady episode was, bro, that was, like, I remember watching it. I was, like, in the sixth grade or something like that, sixth, seventh grade. And to me, Wayne Brady was, like, one of the biggest squares ever. After that episode, is Wayne Brady going to have to smack a bitch? <laughs> Yeah. 
You know what's funny, Blob? I was watching an interview the other day, or actually earlier this week, about that Prince skit. It was uh, it was actually a part. It was a it was a uh, one of the uh, members of the Revolution Prince's band, and you know he corroborated the story as one hundred percent true. You know they they played basketball and then they had some blueberry pancakes. <laughs> Rest in peace, Charlie Murphy. Bro, the racial... Imagine if they did the racial draft nowadays, bro. Can you imagine how many people would be triggered? Dude, um, that, that show could not come out nowadays. Or, remember the Chris Rock show on HBO way back in the day? Like, before uh, the Dave Chappelle show, there was the Chris Rock show on HBO. That one, a lot of people forget about. A little, little trade young. Redskins to acquire Case Keenum in a seventh round. Case Keenum. I'm sorry. Redskins to acquire Case Keenum and a seventh round pick from the Broncos for a six round selection. <sighs> eh. What are the Redskins doing? Case Keenum sucks. No offense to any Case Keenum fans out there, but he does suck. Dude, there's, there's so many characters in the Dave Chappelle show. I like the, uh, one of my favorite skits is the, uh, when they do the dice roll championship. <laughs> ah. Wow, Chris Fitz, thank you for uh, being the echo in the in the chat. Come on. real mark yo wrestlemania 2020 is in tampa are you are you are you are you serious right now trevor ariza sons to 88 that's doo-doo baby <laughs> i want some crack i'm here for the five i'm here for the five o'clock crack giveaway <laughs> ah, ah, that show was so dumb. Man, looks like I'm going to WrestleMania next year. What? 
Dude. I'm in there, bro. Tampa's like a four-hour drive. Like four, five, depending on traffic. I'm so, like, I don't even have to spend the night. Like, I could, I'll just drive back the same night. Or if I feel like it, I could just get some cheap motel over there. Chilling. Yo. I'm about to text my homeboy, dog. I'm about to text my boy Gabe. Oh, snaps. I wish, Mark. I wish. I mean, not for nothing. If I continue growing the way I have been, hopefully by 2020, I could do something like, you know, Uncle Jesse live at WrestleMania and do some like, and do some wrestling breaks or something. That would be hella cool. If I could only go to one, oh man, dude. That that's an easy choice, Dwayne Wade. If I had to choose, I would go to D Wade's last game. Like it, 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 it's not even close to me. What's up, Francisco? With that being said, though, luckily I I I, I you know that. Is not true, and I can I, hopefully I can do both. Hopefully I can do both. We shall see. I mean, as much as I love wrestling, basketball is my first love. Like out of all sports, one of my earliest memories is watching Michael Jordan destroy the Miami Heat. And I just I fell in love with the game. Oh uh, yeah, update the GoFundMe to uh, send Moses to WrestleMania. Oh yeah, Troy Brown Jr. the Emerald to eighty eight. No, listen. All jokes aside, if I legit go to the to WrestleMania next year. I'm yo like legit. I'm gonna tell Gelf buy some rest, buy some like wrestling products, cause I'm gonna rip that shit live at WrestleMania. <coughs> I'll, I'll, I'll set up like a little table or something outside the arena. I'll, you know, I could do this. I could do the stream straight from my phone. So, like, I don't, I don't really need like a like a wired internet connection. Although that would help. Boom! I got it. I could do Facebook on my phone. Or I could do YouTube on my phone. And if I can go somebody, if I can get somebody else to go with me, I'll do it live. I'll do like a an Instagram live stream and then maybe a Facebook stream too if I can get another phone why is that blob oh I was going to say not going okay that makes a lot more sense This is the second to last box. Let's see what we got. Got an emerald Chris Paul for the Rockets. That's the 88. Not Periscope is another idea. Oh, Greg, that would be awesome, man. What? I would, dude, I would geek out. Like, I would geek out. 
I'm a huge wrestling fan. And, like, not just WWE, but, like, I also watch, like, you know, I don't watch Impact anymore, but I do watch uh, New Japan. Those boys are killing it. Honestly, I think they have better wrestlers in New Japan than in WWE. You know, they definitely give them a lot more freedom. And now, like, they just came out with, like, this other, uh, like, wrestling company. I, I can't think of it right now. AEW, there it is. I mean, listen, Brian, the way I see it, wrestling is like a soap opera to me. Like, I know it's fake, but I, I can't help but tune it in. That, that's exactly true, Francisco. You know, I can, I can watch many, many WrestleManias for years to come. But there's only going to be one last game for D-Wave. You know what's funny? Gelf is, uh, is a pretty big wrestling fan, too. You know, he watches wrestling with his kids and stuff like that, so. If I continue growing, I think we may be able to pull something off where I can do some case breaks live from WrestleMania. That would be so sick. Definitely will be. Nah, dude, Francisco. We have a really tough schedule to end the season, but I, I honestly think we're going to make the playoffs. Even if it's only as an eight seed, I think we're going to get in. Alright, let's see what we got here. Last one. Wow, stunning Steve Austin. That is way back in the day before he cut that 316 promo and turned into the rattlesnake that we all know and love. You know, to this day, whenever I hear like glass shattering, it sends it sends uh, goosebumps, you know, throughout my body. Like, oh shit, a can of whoop ass is about to be open somewhere. We got an Emerald Oladipo for the Pacers. That's the 88. Are you? Were you really, Mark? Oh, man, dude. Legendary. To this day, that's like one of the greatest promos done by any wrestler. That 316 promo is badass. You don't get it like that no more, man. All right. So that's it for the break. So these were the hits. No autographs, unfortunately, but a few emeralds. Oladipo Pacers, 88. Chris Paul Rockets. Troy Brown Jr. Uh, Trevor Reza Suns. Lonzo Ball Lakers. And Kyle Lowry Raptors to 88. Well, Sim Sports Cards, that's a good question. And that's